Hello, Southside. Welcome to another Worship Wednesday. We've got uh, some fun, fun people here today. We got the Long family joining us. Hey, everybody. You probably didn't know there was so much talent in this family, but you probably assumed it was there. <laughs> but uh, you're going to enjoy it tonight. I'm glad they're joining me here for Worship Wednesday. Well, I'm going to pray and jump right in. We've got some awesome songs, a couple oldies, but uh, really excited to worship with you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are awesome. You are worthy of praise. I thank you that we have this time to worship you. I thank you for the people who are checking this out, who are listening, God. I pray that this blesses them, that this encourages them, that that spurs them on to study your word, to enjoy time with you, to not forsake that time in this craziness, that we would seek you first above anything else. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, we got an oldie to start out with. We're going to sing it loud and proud. Here we go.
Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. So awesome, so awesome. That song, I think, will stand the test of time. An excellent, excellent song. So much truth, so much power in that. That Jesus paid it all. That our lives look different, but our sins, our stains are washed away. Awesome, awesome. These songs, there is so much scripture, so much truth in these songs. And sometimes we forget that they're not just some author's great words, but they're inspired by the Holy Spirit. They're inspired by the scripture and grabbed out of there. This next song we're going to sing is a great example of that. The cornerstone, the scripture says that, that Jesus was the cornerstone, the foundation of our faith that the builders rejected, but was absolutely necessary. And without his sacrifice, we would not have eternity. We would not have salvation. We would not have this Holy Spirit that God has given us, all these things made possible by the foundation, the cornerstone, Jesus Christ. Such an awesome, awesome song to declare these truths, to sing these things out, to lift his name high. Oh, man. You guys ready? Let's jump in. Let's do it. I love this one. Thank you. 
shall come with trumpet sound. Oh, may I then in Him be found, dressed in His righteousness alone. Faultless stand before the throne. Christ alone. Cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. God, please be Lord of all. Lord of all in our hearts. Lord of all in how we act and what we do. God, this seems simple, but so easily missed that you would be Lord of what we watch. God, it's so easy to let things sneak up and take a foothold in our life. The things that we watch, the things that we look at, can have such a profound effect. So God, please be the center. Be Lord. Lead us and guide us. What I love, God, is that you don't, you don't expect perfection right away. As we come to know you, you challenge us and you take away certain things from us. But then every, sometimes every day and sometimes once in a while, you lay on our hearts things to say, all right, Andy, it's time to give up that. All right, Andy, it's time to let me be a little bit more Lord, a little bit more Lord. God, you're so patient with us, so understanding, so forgiving. Even though even though my heart and my eyes may wander, I know that I'm always safe. When I turn back around, you're always there. A wonderful God, a loving Father, so patient, so kind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Help us to trust you, to trust you more. is the land. 
Here I find my greatest treasure, hither by thy help I come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me. Dream from the fold of God, he to rescue me from danger, interposed his precious watching this uh, on the right day on Wednesday you're one of those people that loves worship and loves music and you can't wait for this video and you're enjoying God and you're lifting your hands um, you're thanking God you might just be accidentally watching this um, you might have come here tonight or today with a need in your heart you're worried you're concerned there's a lot of anger going around. And maybe wisely, you decided, you know, I'm going to let these worship songs minister to my heart. 
And you know, there's just a great power in deciding that I'm going to be a worshiper of God. And not waiting for the feeling or waiting for the perfect moment in church or in your room or when you're in your car, but just deciding that's who I am. Jesus said, when someone asked him, what kind of worshipers does God really want? Is it people who do it this way or that way in this kind of place or that kind of place? And Jesus, you could almost feel his heart saying, the Father is always been looking and he's looking right now for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth so where your whole emotion and your heart is involved in worship and then the truth is right here in the songs for us the truth is the part that you you have to have for the spirit to take flight and for it to turn into worship and so I want to invite you I want to invite you to take this time with us take a moment before we start this song and just pray God make my heart right Lord, make me someone who worships you during the good and the bad. Make me someone who loves you even when I don't get what I want. But I just pray there are rich and deep words that are coming at you in just a few moments about who God is and how he saved us and how he's created and set up the world so that it would all point to Jesus Christ and his cross and his resurrection and his forgiveness. But I want to ask you right now, just if you're thinking about man, I'm angry, I'm tired of this, I want everything to get back to normal. Can I tell you, it's not going to by the end of this song. It's probably not going to by the end of this week. And so we gotta find something bigger than our circumstances. And I wanna ask you to dig deep right now and make that something the Lord Jesus Christ. Fix all of your heart on him right now, but then be a real hero and feel that way tomorrow. And when you sin, confess your sin. And when you get anxious and grumbling, confess those things and just keep coming back to him. Pray with me, oh God, make us not complainers, but proclaimers of the goodness of God. Uh, God, turn our hearts from selfish and self-centered to other-centered and Christ-centered. And God, minister to us so excited to sing this song and think about how vast you are because my problems seem big and they seem vast right now but this song reminds me that you're on your throne that you've had a plan for all of time and that even in this hard time we're in you have a plan to save people and to bring people back to Jesus Christ give us hearts of worship that will worship in spirit and truth right now Lord it's in your name we all pray together
praise, praise and honor, praise and honor to our King, to our Savior, to our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you are awesome, that you are more than enough, that you never leave us or forsake us. We thank you for your love. God, let us have a passion. Let us have an enthusiasm for declaring you, Lord, that people would come to know Jesus through our witness, through our declaration, through our life lived with Jesus as King. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you guys for joining me. This was so much fun. You bet. It's a, it's a little weird to have your boss here, but it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. Maya makes us all feel that yeah, way. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that can be the case. But you guys are such a blessing, and I know you're going to be such a blessing to, uh, to those who are watching. Um, may the Lord keep you, bless you. Southside, we love you. Thank you for joining us for another Worship Wednesday. Uh, God bless you, and have a good one. We'll see you next time.